Today, Neon announced Authorize, which is a way to add secure database level authorization into your application. This is done by integrating with third party authentication providers like Clerk to utilize Postgres's role level security or RLS feature in order to automatically make sure that the data being inserted or requested back is tied directly to the user. So to give you an idea on how this workflow works, when a user signs into Clerk into an XJS application, they are provided back a JWT, which identifies uh, the specific user that is logged in with the application. This JWT can be used with APIs in order to verify that the user is actually who they say they are. With Authorize, this JWT is actually sent directly to Neon whenever requests are made, and Neon will actually verify the user's identity with Clerk before sending back the data that the user requested. Now I'm gonna grossly oversimplify role level security and how it works, but in a nutshell, there is a select star from to-dos, which is a typical select statement you would see inside of a simple application, and then also a create policy statement below. And that create policy statement is actually an RLS policy. Once this RLS policy is applied, any queries that go to the to-dos table will be updated to look very similar to like what's on screen right now, where the user ID is automatically appended as a filter to the query. And this is all done without the developer actually having to program this into the application. If you wanna learn more about RLS, there is a link to an article on my blog, which goes a little bit more into detail and explains some of the nuances of RLS, or you can scan the QR code to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Now on screen, I have an example of what Neon Authorize looks like when being utilized with Clerk from a Next.js application. Uh, as you can see, there is a client that's being created to connect to Neon, but inside of this code block here, we're actually using the auth.get token function, which is provided by Clerk. So the user's token is being added into all the requests that get shipped off into Neon. And then from there, you can just write your queries without having to manually filter down to the user ID because that's being handled by Neon automatically for you. If you want to learn more about Neon Authorize and specifically how to connect it with Clerk, there is a sample repo that is tied to the link you see on screen, or again, you can see on the QR code. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.